AC equals According to the Andal Cambria, the Battle of Hatfield Chase was fought on 12 October 633 at Hatfield Chase near Doncaster. It pitted the Northumbrians against an alliance of Gwynedd and Mercia. The Northumbrians were led by Edwin and the Gwynedd-Mercian alliance was led by Cadwallin ap Cadvin and Penda. The site was a marshy area about eight miles northeast of Doncaster on the south bank of the River Don. It was a decisive victory for Gwynedd and the Mercians. Edwin was killed and his army defeated, leading to the temporary collapse of Northumbria. Background Edwin, the most powerful ruler in Britain at the time, had seemingly defeated Cadwallin a few years before the battle. Bede refers to Edwin establishing his rule over what he called the Mebanian Islands, one of which was Anglesey, and another source refers to Cadwallin being besieged on the island of Priest's home, which is off the coast of Anglesey. Later, Cadwallin defeated and drove the Northumbrians from his territories and then allied with Penda. Penda's status in Mercia at this time is uncertain. Bede suggests he was not yet king, but became king soon after Hatfield, the Anglo-Saxon chronicle, however, says that he became king in 626. Results of the battle the battle was a disaster for Northumbria, with both Edwin and his son Osfrith killed, and his other son Edfrith captured by Penda. The kingdom was divided between its constituent kingdoms of Bernicia and Daria. Enfrith, a son of the former king Ethelfrith, returned from exile to take power in Bernicia, while Edwin's cousin Osric took over Daria. Cadwallin continued to wage a war of ruthless slaughter against the Northumbrians and was not stopped until he was defeated by Oswald at the Battle of Heavenfield a year after Hatfield near Cookney, Nottinghamshire. The historian D. P. Kirkby suggested that the defeat of Edwin was the outcome of a wide-ranging alliance of interests opposed to him, including the deposed Bernician line of Ethelfrith, but considering the subsequent hostility between Cadwallon and Ethelfrith's sons. Such an alliance must not have survived the battle for long.